Today we got a fun little project. We are going to turn the NavPy into a NavPy with a touchscreen. I bought a touchscreen on eBay. You can get this set or similar sets for around $25 and that's with free shipping. It comes with a stylus, a case, an HDMI connector and screwdriver. The set comes with a guide. In this guide is explained how to create a case and how to connect the touchscreen to the Raspberry Pi. The manufacturer created the setup guide for the touchscreen. I downloaded the driver to my PC and with a USB I transferred it to my Raspberry Pi. After that, I copied the driver file to the Pi Home directory, changed the file permissions and unzipped the file. Now, all there's left to do is move into the directory of the driver and set the resolution of the screen. Once you've done this all, the device will reboot and the touchscreen will work. The connector I got with the screen didn't work, so I'm using an HDMI cable instead. I installed Matchbox, this is a virtual keyboard to run the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it isn't working perfect. Everything is quite small, but together with the stylus, it works. You can actually input what you have to input. The Raspberry Pi isn't the fastest device, the screen isn't the best, it is small, it doesn't work great, but it works. You can log in to the web user interface and keep track of your stake in progress. In the description of this video, you'll find all the commands you'll need and all the links you'll need to set up the Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Good luck with it, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me. <laughs>